Good morning. Good morning. It is Thursday. It's Thursday, July 27th. Tuesday. No, Thursday. Thursday, July 22nd, 27th, 2023. Yes. Yes, it is. So good morning to all of you who are coming in. We are on Kempenfeld Bay this morning and uh, it's a smidge overcast. Good morning, Gary. Good morning. All that's out this morning are mallard ducks and seagulls. Karen, good morning. Good morning, Donna. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning and welcome. So let's, it's, there's a couple paddlers out. I saw, yeah, paddle boarders, another paddler. Good morning, Rob. Good morning. Good morning, Velma. Good morning. Yes, it's so good to see y'all come in. Yes, so good morning and welcome. Uh, it's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great day. Every day, right? Every day when you have Jesus is a great day. Tanya, Carolyn, yes. I think I got in between the window of clouds here. Laurel, good morning. Um, I checked the weather and I think it had been raining all night. So it's good here. Good morning. Well, it's good in the sense that there's no rain, right? But we realize the importance of rain. So here we are. Carol, it's going to be a great day. It's just going to be a great day. And uh, on Monday, I picked up a, I picked up a book. Oh, I didn't. I went into Hoopla, which is my library app. And I, uh, often I just like to listen to a good, encouraging, uplifting book. And so Max Lucado tends to be my go-to, right? Solid theology, great stories, and says it in a way that wiggles its way into my heart, right? Because sometimes we have to bypass the brain to get to the heart, right? And then our brain starts thinking about it. And so I find that's what Max Lucado does to me all the time. He, he tells stories that just go whoop, right into my heart. And so this, uh, this book is called Great House of God. And basically it's about preparing our hearts to be God's home, right? Do you not know that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You're not your own, right? So when we accept Christ as our Lord and Savior, he comes and he lives in our heart. So what are we doing or what are we allowing to take place in there? Because it's God's home. And uh, so that's the perspective that he has written this book uh, within. And he goes through the Lord's Prayer as a means of uh, renovation. <laughs> there you go. And so he says... Uh, so often when God asks us to do something like, uh, so your kingdom come, your will be done. And we get to statements that, like that and we're like, oh, but I don't know if I can do what you've asked me to do. And because he says the focus is we look at ourselves. We look at ourselves. We look at our old self. We look at who we were before Christ. Um, right? And he says, <laughs> let's explain to ourselves. So this is Max saying this. Let's explain to ourselves who God is, not who we are. Remind yourself of who God is. Our strength isn't the issue. The strength of God is what, it sh what should be considered. And I was like, oh, refocus got to refocus. Uh, today is my sister's, would have been my sister's 53rd birthday. And it's interesting as I look at old photos of our family, now that they've all gone to be with the Lord, my focus has changed. And especially in, in pictures between herself and myself with, with her and me in them, uh, I'm no look, no longer looking at, at myself. I'm looking at her and just remembering who she is or well, she's still alive, right? She in heaven, um, but who she was here on earth and, and her love and her joy and her laughter. Like as I look, my focus has changed, right? I have a different perspective because she's no longer here with me. And the same, God says, do the same, like do the same with me. 
your old life has gone. Your old ways of, of doing life needs to die too. Focus on me, refocus. I've said this for so many times, set your mind on things that are above and not on things that are on earth because you've been rescued from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of the sun that he loves. And so when we think about the things that God has called us into, we have to be reminded that he's not sending us off on our own. He said to Gideon, um, it says the Lord turned to him to Gideon and said, go in this might of yours and save Israel from the hand of Midian. Do not I send you to Joshua. He said, one man of you puts to flight a thousand since it is the Lord, your God who fights for you. Uh, in second Kings, the prophet says, uh, do not fear for those who are with us are greater or more than those who are with them. Right? So we need to remember who it is that is sending us. It's God Almighty and God is not man, right? I love uh, what Daniel says in chapter two, blessed be the name of God forever and ever for wisdom and might are his. He establishes the times and the season. He removes kings and he raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. Jeremiah says, call to me and I will answer you and I will tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Timothy says, now unto the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, right? James says, if any of you lacks wisdom, let them ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given to him. Matthew, therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Like we need to refocus. We need to refocus every morning when our body starts to say, uh, I'm tired. Ugh, I just want to go back to bed, right? Oh, I'm achy or I have so much to do. Can we, can we refocus, right? Look at the other person in the photo. God, my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. What then shall we say to these things if God is for us? Who can be against us, right? This is good news. We need to refocus, get our minds off of who we are and our abilities, which really aren't that great. We have not received anything that hasn't been given to us by God, right? So if he has the ability to give us gifts, how much more, right, will he give us? And that's what will give us. Um, and that's what I talked about last week, right? If he has not spared his own son, but gave him up for us, how much more will he graciously give us? <sighs> we need to refocus. We need to refocus, right? Max Lucado, one more time. Let's explain to ourselves who God is, not who we are. Remind yourself of who God is. Our strength isn't the issue. Our strength isn't the issue. Our health isn't the issue. Our mind is not the issue. Our emotions are not the issues. Our financial status is not the issue. Our relational status is not the issue. It is God's strength that should be considered. God's love that should be considered. God's wisdom that should be considered. God's comfort that should be considered. These are the things that we need to focus on, right? Not who we are, not our abilities, not our insecurities, our, fail, our fears, our failures. God. The only wise Father who gave up everything for us so that we could experience fullness of life in Him. Right? Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. It's good news. Refocus. Refocus today, right? In the picture, there's you and there's God. And God is good. 
God is able to make all grace abound to you so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Jeremiah says it like this, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Let's refocus today, shall we? If you have a situation that you're just like, oh, I can't do it, God can. If you're feeling like you're lacking in some area, that's okay, God's got it. If you need wisdom, God's got it. If you need strength, God's got it. If you need comfort, God's got it. Nothing is too difficult for him, nothing. We need to lean into God. He often reminds me of that, which is just lean into me. Lean into me. Let me take care of you. That's what he says. Let me take care of you. It's good news, people. This is it's good news. Let's pray. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Help us to refocus. Help us to refocus, Father. Not on the things that we have, the things in our spirit, the things in our hands, the things in our minds, the things in our relationships, the things in our body. But Lord, surrendering them all to you so that we can lean into your goodness, your grace, your strength, your provision, your wisdom, your might, your power. And then we truly can do all things through you because you give us strength. Help us to refocus today. Help us to be light and life and joy and truth to whomever we meet, wherever we go. Would you come and fill us afresh today? And we ask this in your mighty name. Amen. <sighs> Learning to lean. Learning to lean. <sighs> I'm with you. We're, we're in this together, right? Though we are many, we are one body in Christ. My dear friends, it's going to be a great day because God is with us. So no matter what you're experiencing today, no matter what's on the docket, God is not surprised. He is with you. He is going to give you everything you need. All right. This is good news. This is good news. So with this good news, we are going to refocus. We're going to like and share and we're going to go outside so we can help our community experience Christ. All right, my dear friends, have a great day. Bye.